Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is the UE4 Lies of P game has crashed and will close. So if you are receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to rename open XR folder. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder. So make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files, and then open the engine folder. Now open the binaries folder open third party folder over, over here you can see open xr folder if you want to create a backup you can just copy it and create a backup and then you can rename this and rename this folder and once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disconnect vr set so if you have vr set connected to the computer disconnect it unplug it and then launch the game Turn off Xbox Game Bar. Now this has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can go to gaming and you can go to Game Bar and you can turn off the Game Bar. You can turn it off and then check. If it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. So try to turn on and turn off and then check. Next step is to delete the mods folder. So if you're using any kind of mods, you can disable it or you can delete mods and then check. Now make a right click on the game manage browse local files and open the lies of p content folder p a t s folder if you find any mod folder in the game installation folder anywhere if you find the mods folder delete the mods folder if you want to create a backup you can create a backup and then you can delete it and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work again go to properties this time you can type in dash d3 d11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can empty this remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder open the lies of p folder binaries folder win64 folder make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working that in that case you can select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then launch the game still not working in that case so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to remove all mods which we have already did so you can delete the mods and then check the next step is to delete the config folder now when you delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so to delete the config folder you can make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then over here open lies of p folder open the saved folder open the here you can see the config folder you can if you want to create a backup you can copy it maybe paste to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can now you can delete this folder make a right click and then delete it and once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work go back and this time you can rename or delete the saved folder now when you rename or delete the saved folder all the game progress will be lost you have to start everything from scratch so before you rename it you can just create a backup so make a right click on the saved folder and then copy this folder and maybe paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder as dot old now once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to 
allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access so click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder and then open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on open Again, click on add and allow app, browse all apps, and then open Lies of P, binaries, Win64, select this exe file, and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in window search box, and then click on control panel. Go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings at the top, click on allow another app, click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open program files x86 open the steam folder open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the game folder select this exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now it's still not working the next step is to disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to general tab and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game also, if you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, you can go to NVIDIA app settings and turn off overlay. Or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default and then close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner or if you have Reward Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running, you can close it. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to try latest nvidia hotfix driver now this has also uh, worked for many players so it might work for you so you can search for this NVIDIA hotfix driver. I think uh, this is the one GeForce hotfix. So in in the search box uh, in Google search, you can just type in uh, GeForce hotfix display driver. And then you can go to NVIDIA website. And the, here, the version is 576.66 scroll down and over here you can click on download the geforce hotfix driver and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then when you select the custom option and when you go for installation 
put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then you have to restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on uh, graphic settings so type in graphic settings over here and go to, go to graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so open the steam folder steam apps common and then open lies of p again lies of p binaries win64 select this exe file click on add and once the game is added over here click on the game over here select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here and then launch the game next step is to roll back graphics driver to 576.36 or maybe previous driver so it's not only 576.36 uh, you can just install the previous version so so over here uh, you have to select your graphic card over here again select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find now scroll down and click on view more version so the latest one right now is 576.52 so maybe you can try 576.40 or maybe 576.28 but for few users uh, installing this 566.36 sorry game ready driver 566.36 game ready driver click on view and then you can install it again when you install it go for clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card which we have already done now verify the game files to verify the game files make our active on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to install visual c plus plus file this is important so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 version so download both the file now click run this file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well and run this exe file now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both the installation are complete once it is complete you have to restart you can be restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb 
so 116 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case, initial size is 24576, 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024, I have converted this in megabyte, megabyte. Now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 now click on set over here then click on OK OK apply OK OK now restart computer make sure that you restart the computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer so if you have hotas wheel pedals or any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect it disconnect additional sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind kind of third party services or application running close everything and if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. Make a right click manage uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.